The year is 2022. Do our prisons look like this? Do our spaceships look like this? Do we spend our entire weekends locked in sex pods like this? My name is Alex, and I live in the future. This is my series where I watch films set in the present year and grade them on how well they did on predicting what 2022 would look like. This week I'm watching the 1993 film Alien Intruder starring Billy D. Williams, who you may recognize from such incredible films as Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, Robot Chicken colon Star Wars Episode Two, and of course Snoop Dogg's Hood of Horror. An American spaceship has gone missing somewhere in space in the mysterious G sector. And if you're trying to figure out how to find the G sector, what you do is you just put your finger into space and then give it a come hither motion. Because it's so dangerous up there, they staff the entire mission with guys they got out of horny space prison. They not only recruit men who have done horrible crimes, they're also extremely horny. Blew an armored car, took out a pizza joint along with it, five dead. You like to blow things, huh? Not as much as I like them. At first, the guys are like, no thanks, prison's good enough for me. Then they find out that they'll get to spend their weekends in the Aphrodite program, a virtual reality sex pod where they get to live out their most complicated and historically inaccurate fantasies. And to be clear, when I say spend the weekend, I mean the entire weekend. Like they clock out at five o'clock on Friday and immediately dive headfirst into these pods. And then they wake up Monday morning at nine, and they get out of the pods like sore and like sticky, I assume, and then go straight back to work. Is it restful? No. But is it fun? Also, seemingly no. I mean, they spend 100% of their free time in these complicated stories. Like, this guy spent a month getting in fights in front of this gas station, and this guy is working out? in his own fantasy? As soon as the rescue mission gets to the G sector, these F boys get a virus, as F boys are wont to do. But in this case, it's a very specific AI alien virus that comes in the form of a femme fatale who still uses a cigarette holder for some reason. And she is also a witch? I don't know, she bewitches everybody. She hypnotizes them, I guess, into just wanting to kill each other for no reason. And for Commander Billy D. Williams, he's like, man, this deal keeps getting worse all the time. I'm not really sure I understand the alien strategy here. The only thing they're able to defend against is barges full of horny prison men. Like, if NASA sent a single straight lady or gay man, it would be over for the aliens. Like, that's all it would take. Now, admittedly, NASA's hiring practices don't seem to have diversity in mind, given that their payment program is just time that you get to spend in the heterosex pod. First of all, they love lasers in this movie. That The guns are lasers, the prison bars are lasers, which can you imagine the power consumption of having your prison bars be 24 seven giant laser beams when you could just have a door for free? It doesn't make a ton of sense. I mean, that's why for us, lasers are mostly just like to entertain cats and annoy pilots. So negative 50 points, we are like nowhere close to this amount of lasers. There's this android on the ship and everybody is mean to him for absolutely no reason. And it kind of reminds me of how I talk to my Google Home, so plausible, plus four points. This is what their board games look like, and uh, I don't see enough expensive expansion pack potential on this game, minus seven points. I'm supposed to believe this is what the inside of a spaceship looks like? I, this is the cheapest set I've ever seen for a spaceship. Could you only afford to film in a closed Home Depot? Negative 30 points. Probably the funniest thing about this future is two very small but very specific misses, which they predict that music in the future will be done on very small CDs and that everyone will work out on a Bowflex machine. And that is just so mwah, beautifully specific for the early 90s. So negative 93 points for that. Overall, not good. There's very little to recommend this futurism. I'm gonna give them one and a half stars out of seven. But should you watch this movie? No, of course not. What? No, def <laughs> definitely no. I mean, the only reason I could recommend Alien Intruder to somebody is if they really love nudity, but cannot figure out a place to see it. Like if there's just no options to you at all, you've never heard of the internet, you don't have any other movies, and it would take too long to draw it. But it's not even great nudity. Like you could watch this movie for 90 minutes and still have no idea how to find the G sector. 